welcome back everybody. This is episode three of my guide on making your own custom bound hardcovers. In episode one, I introduced you to the tools that we'd be using and showed you how to do some of the prep work uh, for this process. In episode two, I talked about sewing in which we made this. And in this episode tonight, I'm going to talk about gluing on the end sheets and uh, title page as well as gluing the spine together. So uh, let's get into it. All right, so what we're gonna be doing here is tipping on the end sheet and the title page, which contains uh, the Cheap Keys checklist. And for the end sheet, I went with the Macbeth logo. So what we want to do first is make sure that we glue the correct parts of these. So we know that we want the cheap keys checklist to face normally, which means we want to glue this edge. We're going to glue it right to the spine of this book right here. So I'm going to lay that flat there. And the McBiffa logo is going to be glued face down. <clears throat> and then this will be glued to the cover of the book. So I'll actually build the cover of the book around this when there's glue on it, and then it will flip open with the front page of the book. So I want glue on this edge. So I'm gonna lay these on top of each other, offset by about an eighth of an inch. So you really don't need a lot of glue on these to hold them on. And the more you have, the less paper you're going to be working with. So you want to use as little space as possible. Now I'm going to, this is the chipboard I spoke about in the first episode. These are going to actually make the cover of the book. But before I use them for that purpose, I'm going to just use them as a guide for my gluing to prevent getting too much glue on parts of the paper that I don't need to be on. Second guessing this here. Just double checking to make sure that I am gluing the right part. You can also use one uh, 11 by 17 sheet uh, cut down to size for this. However, I did not uh, feel like having that printed for me. So I'm just using two separate sheets. All right, so I've got those secured. Got a little paper plate here that I'm gonna put glue on. to be my, uh, my working supply of glue. And got my glue brush here. So I'll loosen that up a little bit. All right, so just get a little dab of glue on the brush. it along there. All right. Let's set our glue aside. Pull this off. This glue does dry very quickly, fa fairly quickly. Uh, it's also very malleable, so if you make a mistake, you can peel it off. So now we want to put the title sheet on first. You want to get it as close to the edge of the top book as you can. Give it a good press. 
this. Now we want to take our end sheet and apply it directly to the title sheet. There we go. All right. So that's it for that part. Now, we're gonna give that a, a minute or two to dry and we're going to clamp these books so that they're stacked up straight and pressed down like this. And we're gonna put a thick layer of glue on here and then put this strip of meslin across it so that it covers both the end stitches here and has a little bit of overlap so that it can come up here but we aren't actually going to glue it up here. Uh, but we will end up gluing these tapes to the meslin, and then those will adhere to the cover of the book. So now I've got the books all clamped together. You can see they're, they're not being pinched super tight, but it's a pretty good amount of pressure on them to get this pretty good. And I'm just going to very liberally apply glue to um, the spines of all the comics. Uh, I usually give this a couple of coats and hit it from every direction. So you really want to get some glue in between each part of the comic. And I take the glue all the way to the end, from end to end, not just from thread to thread. So once you start to get some separation, um, you never know what's gonna happen. Uh, when you go over like this, you end up with big pools of glue at the thread. Uh, that's okay, it's not a problem. You do want to avoid getting glue on the top and bottom of the book though. That will affect how well the book opens. You might end up ripping some pages. particular case, the second book in the stack is a little bit deeper in there than the other ones. So I want to make sure that I get the glue all the way down in there so that it holds on to the first book and the third book. sticky. Oh, I will have a ton of fun peeling this off of my fingers later. That's probably a little bit more than I'll use. Because so many of the cracks are already filled in with glue now, it won't take too much more. But with the glue on this part of the book, it's definitely better to have more than you need than not enough. You do want to try to keep these straight, or uh, at least keep the top parts of these free of glue. Because you don't want it to prematurely stick to the end sheet. And 
I did not put an end sheet on the bottom. I will just use the back cover of the last book as the end sheet on the back. So now we've got our muslin cloth, which I've already cut to fit. Just big enough to cover all of the thread. And you want to push it down a little bit with your finger so that it grabs hold. And then you want to put a layer of glue on top of that as well. And this part generally takes a, a good bit of glue to fill in all these holes and get it applied firmly to the block. This meslin is, uh, it's really important that you get it glued to the block very well. It holds the whole book together. I've got that nice and glued. You just let it sit overnight, clamped like this. And then by morning, all that glue should be good and dry and a little stiff. and we'll be ready to make the case uh, or the cover in traditional bookmaking uh, the, the cover is called a case and I don't know why but uh, that's it so I uh, hope you will tune in to our next video where we'll make the case and drop the block in it glue it all together and be done